everyone welcome back so in this video we will see understanding the repository so this will be the continuation from the previous video in lesson 1 in module 6 so uh, the repository both the uh, sim and wmi use is organized into namespaces so the namespace is a folder which groups uh, related items for the organizational purpose so uh, the namespace also contain classes here a uh, class represents a manageable software or the hardware component for example in the uh, windows operating system which provides uh, you know classes for uh, processor uh, disk drive services user accounts and so on here um, each computer on the network uh, you know will have a slightly different uh, namespaces and classes because uh, for example uh, if the uh, system that has the uh, you know domain controller running so that will have the uh, a different uh, class name called the active directory and uh, that class name will not be you know exist on any other computer because uh, that will not have the uh, the active directory services running so uh, we can uh, you know to find out the uh, top level namespaces uh, we can uh, use this following command git dash sim instance and to get the uh, root level namespace we can specify root and uh, class name namespace so these are the uh, namespaces uh, that we can uh, you know uh, get it from this uh, server which is the windows server so basically when we work with the repository we typically work with the instances so instances is an actual occurrence of a class for example uh, you know if our computer has a two processor socket uh, then we will be having you know two instances of the classes that represent the processor but uh, if our computer doesn't have an attached uh, tape drive for example then uh, we will have you know zero instance or there will not be any instances of the tape drive class so instances meaning uh, it's an object uh, you know similar to the object uh, that we have already used in the windows powershell so instances will have a properties and uh, some instances will have methods as well so some instance will have properties and uh, methods both so property meaning it describe the attributes of the instance for example uh, let's uh, consider the network adapter instance so that uh, instance will have a properties and uh, that properties meaning it would uh, you know describe the uh, speed of the network adapter and the power state and so on so next uh, method meaning so uh, it tells an instance to do something to do some action for example uh, the instance uh, that represent the operating system might have a method to restart the operating system so let us see where the WMI installed and uh, the repository details and all those information. So basically uh, Windows installed the WMI during the uh, OS installation and uh, the installation process you know that puts the most of the WMI component uh, in the you know C drive Windows. and uh, system 32 under the wbem so in this folder we can see all the wmi repository and uh, all the related components 
So to access it through the PowerShell, we can you know run the following command. I'm just creating the uh, variable. Folder. System 32 slash WBEM. Okay, next using get child item, we can get the list and I'm specifying the path which is the variable have declared. Okay, so if I just want to get the only the first 20, then we can specify, we can use the filter, select dash object and put only the first 20. Okay, so these are the, you know, folders and files that exist on the WBEM folder. Okay, so to view the um, repository folder, we can use this following command. Get child item and we need to specify the path within the WBEM folder. So there will be a folder name called repository. Okay, so these were the repository for the WMI. As I have explained about the namespaces and classes, let us see, uh, you know, some of the namespaces and classes in this example. So to view the uh, same classes, we can, you know, just use the following command get dash sim class and specify the namespace which would be you know root so this would you know display all the uh, namespaces so if we can just filter out to display only the first 10 Okay, so here we can see um, system class namespace. So make sure uh, we type uh, a double underscore before the sim class name and uh, sim class methods and the properties that will give the description of the, you know, the object. So uh, let us see the, um, the namespace class name. So for that, uh, we can use the following command, get dash. Here it will be a sim instance. And the namespace. True. So here we can specify the class name. Which is double underscore and the class name namespace. Okay, so we can, you know, filter out, uh, we can sort with the uh, property using the name. Okay, which will be the same output. But it will be just, you know, in the ascending order. So if we wanted to count, uh, you know, uh, the uh, classes that contain each of these namespace, we can also, you know, use this following command. Just creating a variable. Classes. Get dash uh, 
sim class and the namespace it should be root sim v2 okay and then we can just type the string there are and call the variable and the count classes in root and sim b2 okay so there are uh, 1162 classes in this root slash sim v2 namespace so we have seen the top level namespace for the root now let us see an example for the classes so using get dash sim class now we can see all the uh, list of classes so we can you know just um, use the class name bin 32 share okay so this uh, class you know comes under the uh, root slash uh, sim v2 namespace and uh, this is the class method you know we can uh, create which is you know do some action create set share and etc and uh, we can also you know uh, get the uh, class properties for the same class so next uh, finding documentation here uh, the fastest way to find the documentation is to type the repository class name into an internet search engine so uh, here uh, classes in the root slash sim v2 namespace are typically well documented and uh, classes from other namespace are typically not well documented so uh, here we can uh, use this uh, Microsoft uh, Developer Network, which is the MSDN website, you know, to uh, get uh, more information about the uh, PowerShell. So we can just uh, choose the PowerShell, and here uh, we can, you know, how to guide for sample script, and uh, how we can, you know, do the setup and installation, and the PowerShell gallery. So for example, here we can find uh, the steps for install the PowerShell on Windows. Uh, now PowerShell also available for Linux. So we can use this uh, option and uh, there will be a steps to how we can install it on the Linux machine. And uh, this is the PowerShell 5.1 and the PowerShell gallery. So we can, uh, you know, use this uh, MSDN website to, you know, get more uh, about the PowerShell. And uh, we can also use the, uh, this uh, Microsoft TechNet, uh, Microsoft uh, Script Center for the PowerShell blog. Okay, so that's it in this video. And uh, I'll see you in the next. Thank you.